Is the United States facing an immigration crisis at this moment? Well, what makes me say this? This today is the 11th of May and tonight, a controversial immigration policy also known as Title 42 will come to an end. The rule was implemented in the guise of COVID restrictions, but in reality what it did is that it allowed American officials to turn back and expel the migrants who turned up at the borders of the United States. This was back in 2020 during Trump's era. Everyone knew that the policy's days were numbered and its end has come as Biden has lifted the COVID public health emergency. The question now is this, what happens at the US-Mexico border? Will there be a wave of immigrants who will try and barge into America? Is the Biden administration prepared for this? Let's first tell you about this controversial policy. In the early days of the COVID-19 pandemic, the US Center for Disease Control and Prevention had issued a public health order. Apparently, it was aimed to stop the spread of COVID-19 infections, but as we all know, it did little except give US officials unbridled powers. It allowed them to expel migrants at the borders ever since the policy came into effect. Authorities have just sent migrants packing more than 2.8 million times across the border. This is according to the US Customs and Border Protection data. There's more. In 2020, more than 645,000 immigrants were expelled. Another 1.95 million were asked to leave in 2021. The figure was 2.76 million in 2022 and has now crossed the 1.5 million mark already this year. You see, we're talking about millions of people here whose lives were uprooted, who were separated from their family members, who were forced to leave their homes, their jobs and education. But in just a few hours from now, the policy will become null and void. So what will the U.S. borders look like once that happens? The potential impact is already clear in the Texas city of El Paso. There's a rush to try and reach the border. There are at least about 10,000 migrants who are lined up to try and enter into the land of the free, the country that calls itself the United States. The many are sleeping in makeshift campsites in the city's streets. Several thousands have been camped out for a week now. And President Joe Biden himself knows, and he has acknowledged it as well. The next few days are going to be absolutely chaotic along the U.S.-Mexico border. So what is the Biden administration doing about this? Is the United States even prepared for such an influx of migrants or will it lead to a crisis at the border? Well, for starters, about 24,000 law enforcement officers are stationed along the U.S.-Mexico border. And on top of that, there are thousands of National Guard troops and active duty military personnel. Biden has also introduced new rules for asylum seekers. Under Title 42, many migrants were in fact blocked from requesting asylum at all. So even if people turned up, and no matter how desperate their situation was, they just could not ask for asylum in the United States. But with this rule expiring, their asylum applications will now at least be screened and they'll only be deported if they fail to legally qualify. However, those who cross the border illegally won't be able to apply for asylum for a period of five years. And if someone fails to comply, then they will face some pretty strict penalties and swift deportation. While these rules look apt on paper, only time will tell as to how they'll actually play out on the ground within the next few hours from now. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.